You too. Now what the fuck is going on, guys? So look, the harsh truth about the body game. Now I want your boys to really listen up, man, because I'm about to give you some real shit today. All right? The harsh truth about the body game, and when you start to level up, man, you start to really get on your grind. You know what I'm saying? You, and you leveling up. The truth is, man, you're going to lose a lot of people in your life. You're going to lose a lot of fucking friends, bro. You understand? When I started this shit, bro, I was skinny. I was about 130, 125 pounds when I started this shit. Everybody was supported. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was like, you post a little progress, you know what I'm saying? And two or three months in, you show a little progress. Everybody, yo, what's good? Like, hey, bro, I see you, man. Keep grinding. You know what I'm saying? But as time went on, people love to see you doing good until you're doing better than them. You get what I'm saying? The moment they see you doing better than them, that was a problem. You get what I'm saying? That was a fucking problem. You understand? So, it's six months a year is cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm making gains. I'm gonna tell you what happened to me, man. When I hit the two year mark on my journey, and I started really take my physique like on a different level, to the point where it's like, when I'm out in public, my nigga, it's not too many people looking like me. You understand? I started to get less views on my story. Right? Start less views on my story. More people distancing themselves from me. A lot of people watching my shit but not liking my posts. Not really supporting me. And I started to see people's true colors. Because I'm gonna tell y'all one thing, man. When you get on the body game, man, guys, you get it, you get in shape. Um, you start to eat clean, you start working on yourself. And you essentially, bro, like you escape the matrix. You get what I'm saying? Like you escape the matrix essentially. Like for me, bro, when I got in shape a year, a year and a half into my, I escaped the matrix, the bullshit, the beta, I, I, I escaped all that shit. And it, it, you get alone, man. And it's difference between a lot of guys in my comments say, man, it's better to be lonely. Nah, but there's a difference between being alone and lonely. Lonely is you're missing someone's company, right? Like you need someone's company. Alone is just, you just are by yourself. You get what I'm saying? And I'm not, I'm not urging nobody on my channel to be loners and none of that shit, man. But I'm just telling you guys, until the right people come around your, your circle, and you're gonna see a lot of people exit your life. You get what I'm saying? And it's like, I understand when people say it's lonely at the top. And it's crazy, bro, because I'm not even at the top yet, man. I'm still working on myself financially. You know what I'm saying? I'm still working on my body, man. I'm, I'm not content with my body. I still want to push myself, you know what I'm saying, get even bigger than I, what I am right now. But I can't even imagine when I do get a million. You understand? Like, I get people hating on my channel. Nobody was hating on my shit when I was getting 20, 30, 40 views. But now my shit is getting more thousands of views now. I'm about to hit 2,000 subscribers. People get to hate it now. I'm gonna tell you something, people are never gonna hate down. People are always gonna hate up. You get what I'm saying? And so with the body game, man, like, <clears throat> when I post videos, man, my workout videos and shit like that, and, and I don't care, bro, I'm not here looking for recognition, but what I'm telling you guys is, man, it's the same motherfuckers, man, that be liking my shit. It's the same people that be supporting me, shout out to them. But everybody else, bro, they in the sidelines, bro. They gonna pretend like they not watching you, especially certain females, man. Certain females gonna pretend like they don't see you working out. And this is how I know. I post like a cocky post of me working out, a video. It will get nearly the amount of views that a fucking, a, a pick of some food that I had for lunch will get. Like I post a pick of some food, bro. That shit will get like 500 views. I post a, a video of me working out. I might get 120, 130. Those, 100, those other 400 people, they see me. Oh, they seen the workout video. They didn't tap on it, but they know what I posted. Right? And I didn't notice this, man, until I really started pushing my body and pushing myself to, to a level that most people weren't. A year was cool. A year was cool, but yeah, everybody was supporting you. I'm telling y'all right now, man, like, and for me, it's like, only got like a couple people, man, in my circle, man, that I can really count on that's gonna be there for me when, when I really need some shit, man, my car break down, whatever it is, man. So I want you guys to know something. 
people hate to see you doing better than them. They, they're gonna swear, man, yeah, I wanna see you do good. Wait till you're doing better than them, bro, and see what's gonna happen. They're gonna distance, distance themselves from you, man. You get what I'm saying? They're gonna distance, and, 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 and that's cool, bro. I tell you guys, man, like for me, the more I do get on my journey, I find like-minded individuals, man. So I find people that are on the same wavelength as me in the gym, trying to work on their finances, but trying to get themselves to the next level, man. So I want you guys to know, man, God is whatever higher being you believe in, man. I believe in God. Whatever, um, he, he's going to take out certain people out of your life. You get what I'm saying? To, to make way for new people that can enter your life. You get what I'm saying? And I want to talk about a second harsh truth to this shit. The second harsh truth to it is gonna be women, dog, are only gonna see you as a nigga to have fun with. Hey, what's your deal? What's, I thought it's a good thing, but what you mean? Like, it's a good thing, but I want you guys to know, man, like if you're looking for companionship, you're looking for a woman to always be there, you're looking for a, a bitch to always be by your side right there. If you're really an alpha, but you really live in this lifestyle, bro, you red pill, my nigga, and you in shape, most chicks, bro, they gonna see you as a type of nigga she gonna just call it like when she wants to fuck. You wanna say it? And that might just be it. I'm not saying you can't find solid bitches out here, bro, but when you just wanna live a life of just fucking hoes, you gonna be alone. You gonna be alone, bro, because you're not looking for attachments, man. Women just gonna see you as a type of nigga just to fuck on the side. You gotta be content with that, bro. You can... Am I saying you can't get in a relationship? No, my nigga, because it's always going to be some motherfuckers in the comments, right? Nah, you can find it. You can get a relationship. I'm not saying you can't, but this lifestyle is going to come with women seeing you a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have chicks texting me good morning. I mean, I do, a couple, but I'm not texting hoes, man. I don't text bitches, bro. I'm not snapping bitches. I'm not DMing, unless I'm trying to link up. But if we linked up and we fucked already, there's nothing for us to talk about, bro. I might text you to link up with you or ask you when you're free. Boom, then we linking up. But that's it. That's really it, bro. That's the type of time I'm on right now. You want to stay? So I want you guys to know, man, it's going to come with it. You know, and if you in shape right now, man, you practicing the body game, you might know what I'm talking about. And this is not just the body game, bro. This is just life. You want to stay? But I'm talking from my personal experience. You're going to notice, man, the first six months, people are going to be rooting for you. People are going to say, man, I see you, but you're doing good, man, because they still see you like, okay, he's doing good, but he got potential, but he ain't really there yet. Let's see if you really going to get there. And then when you do hit that level, now they're like, shit, fuck, man. this nigga really doing it, fuck, man. This nigga really doing this shit. I ain't think he can do it. And then you keep doing it, then you keep doing it, you keep doing it, you keep proving these motherfuckers wrong. More people gonna pretend like they don't see you, but they see you every fucking move that you're making. And you think I give a fuck if somebody, I don't give a fuck, bro. That's the thing about me. The haters and the comments and the YouTube videos, motherfuckers pretend like they don't see what I'm doing, but y'all see what I'm doing. People leaving my life, that shit fuels me. I love that shit. You gotta let that shit fuel you to get to the next level, man. I'm telling you right now, <clears throat> you're gonna be alone. I wouldn't say you're gonna be lonely. You're gonna be alone because I like I like being alone. I like going to the crib, reading, or I might go to the to the court, to the gym, my hoop, get some runs in. You wanna say I might go walk around the city, man, go check out some new spots. I'm never lonely. I'm alone. You understand? And that's different than being lonely. Lonely is you depending on somebody's company. I ain't depending on shit. <clears throat> you get what I'm saying? So I just want you guys to know that, man. You know? And uh, you're gonna get a lot of respect. You're gonna get a lot of respect from everybody. You're gonna intimidate a lot of people. So as a result, you're gonna notice that because you're not in the matrix no more. You're not in the matrix, man. These dudes, man, people rushing to work, honking on each other, man. Like, uh, man. Chicks going to pick up the, the kids from the baby from the daycare 4 p.m. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers arguing at the register. That's the matrix to me. When you get in shape, bro, and you praise this shit, 
and you're so comfortable and you know where you're headed and you see the end goal, I don't, I don't, how can I say it, bro? I don't concern myself with what the fuck is going on in this beta male society that we live in right now, this blue pill society. And as a result, people are gonna see you, they gonna feel you as like an outsider. They gonna see you as a type of nigga that, yo, this nigga different. Why this nigga, this nigga don't even, this nigga don't even belong here. And that's kind of where I'm at with in life right now. Like I'm so focused guys, man, right now on, like I tell you guys, man, I'm paying off my debts right now, paying off my credit cards. Um, I, I, I'm really, I'm really living be below my means right now. Stacking up my bread. I'm trying to get a condo. You know what I'm saying? I'm in Atlanta right now, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to stack up my money, man. Get a condo. You know what I'm saying? Put my, send some money back home to Morocco. You know what I'm saying? Make sure they good, bro. Make sure my mom good, my pops good. So it, I'm in a different mode, bro. And, and y'all got to be in a different mode. Y'all got to focus on what the fuck matters in life. And yeah, it's going to get, you're going to be alone, my nigga. But I love this shit. I love this shit, but I wouldn't trade this shit for nothing. Cause every time somebody hating on me, I, when I post videos on IG, in a sense, it's a flex on you motherfuckers at the same time because none of y'all believed in me. None of y'all believed in me. You know who believed in me? I did. And you guys gotta feel that way. They said, dude, you can't get in shape. They used to clown me for being skinny. They used to clown me because my, my sleeves wouldn't, my, my arms wouldn't fit my sleeves. Now it's like, dude, I know you can do it, bro. This one the hate nice ass nigga, bro, commented on my transformation pose, right? I posted like a one year transformation on my IG. It was like, about time. About time. I mean, you're right about time, but that's what you gotta say, my nigga, about time. You gonna deal with you gonna deal with haters, bro. A lot of people gonna try to downplay your success and pretend like they don't see you. And I'm never sweating, bro, because what do you see with all these people on IG, man, who got the money and everything? They found a circle, bro, of winners. And I want you guys to know something, man. Just stay on the fucking grind. You gonna meet people along the way. That are winners, or at least they 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 got the desire to be. You ain't gotta meet somebody, but they already there. But put yourself around people that that see the vision, that want to get to the next level. That's gonna help you. Y'all gonna help elevate each other. Stop kicking it with these motherfuckers that talk about the same shit every fucking day. Guys, we beyond that shit now, man. We gotta go hard. We gotta go fucking hard, man. We gotta stop with the bullshit. Hit the fucking gym. Get on the fucking body game right now. Your whole life is gonna change. You gonna escape the you gonna escape the matrix. That's how I did it. I proved myself right. Everybody average, but when I walk out in public, man, ain't nobody in shape. Ain't nobody got real goals like that. Everybody just wanna they in their comfort zone. You get paid every two weeks. It's comfortable. You you know what's expected. Okay, I clock in, I clock out. Okay, boom. I work at this time, I get off this time, I get paid every two weeks. They fall in that little grow in the company. Do just enough just to get by, but just enough to keep their job. And that's everybody that I'm around. I mean, I'm in Atlanta, there's a lot of hustlers out here, but it's a lot of dudes just content with just being average. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> so just know, man, like, you watching my videos, it's not too many of us. It's, we're not a big percentage, man. If you were true alpha, a true alpha is somebody to take control of their life. Like, you live life on your terms, man. You get what I'm saying? That's all this shit is about. All right? <clears throat> so guys, man, if you guys want one-on-one -on -one training with me, if you want somebody to help you with dieting, create a workout plan for you, and just somebody that's going to hold you accountable, bro. Like, yo, yo follow me on IG right now, man. ADIL.CB is in the description. Guys, I've been that type of dude that wasn't in shape, and I am now. So if you want to get cold with this shit, bro, hit my line. 
let's get on a video call. I'm gonna talk to you, man. Create a workout plan, a diet plan to get you on point, man. You know what I'm saying? So you can take control of your life and you can really fuck bitches, man. You get what I'm saying? So go to my website and um, book a consultation with me, man. All right? Hey, guys, look, man. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and drop down below, man. Comment down below what you guys want to see next, all right? Instead of the next one, about this bitch, man.